You are welcome to today's video lesson with Bright Edo. In today's lesson, I'll be answering this question written on the board and it says, which of the following substances has the lowest vapor density now to solve questions of the such is so much very easy first of all you can see the word substances and a substance can be either an element or a compound now in the look of things all these options written on the board they are all compounds because they are made up of two or more elements that's what a compound is so moving further, how do we solve this question? They are asking us to know the particular compound with the lowest vapor density. Now to do that is very easy. Now, if you are just joining this community, do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and turn on the post notification bell icon so that whenever a new video lesson is posted, you get notified. So let's solve this question together. How do we solve it? You know, we are trying to determine the vapor densities of this compound. So this must be noted that will be written now on the board. It must be noted that molecular mass is equal to vapor density vapor density times two this must be noted now in the look of things what are they asking us to get vapor density and after solving the vapor density for all the options we'll check the one that is lowest the one that is lowest will be our answer so moving further what we have to do next is to divide both sides of the equation with the coefficient of vapor density because we want to get the vapor densities of the compounds and what are the coefficient or what is the coefficient of vapor density in this equation it is two what is close to vapor density it is two so we divide both sides of the equation by two two cancels two so what is vapor density now vapor density formula we are to apply in this question is going to be the molecular mass of the compound we are to calculate divide by two so this is the formula for the vapor density we are to use to solve for these questions to get the vapor density and look for the one that is lowest. So first of all, let's work towards option A, which is the first option. Now in the look of things, let's get our atomic masses of all the elements involved in this compound. The atomic mass of carbon is 12, the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, and which other element is written? Uh, chlorine, sorry, oxygen is here. So it's going to be atomic mass 16. And lastly, another element I'm seeing here is, uh, uh, is chlorine. And chlorine atomic mass is 35.5. Uh, so with all this information gotten, let's solve the atomic masses, sorry, let's solve the molar masses or molecular masses of all these compounds so that we can get our vapor density. So for option A, for option a okay so what's the compound ch3 cooh so first of all we want to get vapor density before we get vapor density let's get our molar mass of the compound okay or molecular mass as stated okay what's the molecular mass of the compound very easy what's the atomic mass of carbon as written here 12 plus what's the atomic mass of hydrogen one how many atoms of hydrogen do we have three so it's going to be one times three plus what's the atomic mass of carbon it is 12 also plus we have two oxygen so 16 is one of the atomic mass of oxygen and we have another oxygen is going to be plus 16 and plus one whereby the molecular mass of this particular compound is going to be oh uh, let's press our calculator so that's 12 plus 3 because 1 times 3 1 times 3 is 3 plus 12 plus 16 plus 16 plus 1 that's 60 60 to be the molecular mass of the compound so with this let's get the vapor density of this particular compound by using the formula so what become our vapor density i want to just show the word vapor density to be vd i believe you get what i'm saying now vapor density is going to be what's the molecular mass 60 divided by 2 okay that's 30 okay that's 30 to be the vapor density of this compound so we leave this value here and so for option b so option b here uh let's have option b the compound is ch3 ch2 ch2 oh now for you to get your molar mass you have to be careful when solving don't rush it take it step by step and the compound now is uh, uh ch3 ch2 
CH2OH. So here is um, 12. We are trying to get a molar mass or molecular mass also. So here is 12 plus 1 times 3 plus 12 plus 1 times 2. I believe you are getting what I'm saying. Because hydrogen is 1, that is why it's 1 times plus carbon is 12 plus hydrogen is 1. Since we are having 2 hydrogen, 1 times 2 plus oxygen is 16 plus another hydrogen is what? 1. So with this, let's impute, okay? As I'm solving, make sure you're solving so that you can be able to understand perfectly how all this works. So 12 plus 1 times 3 plus 12 plus 1 times 2 plus 12 plus 1 times 2 plus 16 plus 1. That is 60 also, okay? We got the, uh, the molecular mass of the compound to be 60. So what become our vapor density? Remember, it's vapor density, is molecular mass. Uh, a mass divided by two that's 60 over two that's 30 okay so with this let's solve for the vapor density for option c so guys let's solve for the vapor density for option c and option c is basically ch2 cl2 so first of all what are we to get we get our molecular mass to get that is easy so molecular mass let's just say mm is equal to molecular mass is equal to what's carbon atomic mass 12 plus hydrogen is one since we're having two one times two plus chlorine now we have to be careful what did i say it is 35.5 but how many chlorine do we have here too so it's going to be times two so 12 plus one times two plus 35.5 times 2 that's 85 so basically the molecular mass of this compound is 85 so what becomes vapor density it's going to be the molecular mass over 2 that's 85 over 2 so let's do that 85 divided by 2 that's 42.5 42.5 this value is quite large so this value is larger than these two values we've gotten i believe you're already sensing the compound that we have the lowest vapor density we are coming towards it so option d for option d now okay option d was it it is ch3 cho now to this note let's get our molar mass or the molecular mass that's 12 molecular mass is going to be 12 plus 1 times 3 Okay, I believe you are getting the way it's solved. It's not difficult. Plus another two, or, or carbon, which is 12, plus hydrogen, which is 1, plus oxygen, which is 16. So with all this said, let's solve together. Molecular mass is equal to 12 plus 1 times 3, plus 12 again, plus 1, plus 16. That's 44. So molecular mass now of this compound is what? 44 what become our vd what become our vapor density 44 over 2 so 44 divided by 2 what become vapor density 22 wow so you can see that after solving the vapor densities of all these options the one that we had the lowest value was for option d so option d is the answer to the question because you might see questions like this in the jam examination so you have to take note of how it is solved you have to take it step by step and you have to be fast as well as so in solving the question so that you can be able to understand perfectly how it works okay so as earlier said if you haven't subscribed and this is the first time for you are joining this community make sure you do well to hit the subscribe button do well to give this video a like and also share these lessons with your friends so that they can learn the way you are learning right now. So I believe you find this video lesson helpful. Thanks for watching.